So my site's already live in production. And you can see that here. But I've been me messing around in localhost and changing some things around. And I'm, I'm not sure if you actually noticed, but I actually changed the colors here in the nav bar. And I'm ready to actually push this up and show my team. So I could start by committing my changes and pushing that to GitHub. Now that my changes are on GitHub, I can go ahead and start and create a pull request. Here I'll find my branch. You can see my changes with the colors. And I'll create a pull request. And if I go back to my Netlify dashboard and the deploys, I can already see some deploys have started. And back on my pull request, I can see a deploy preview has started the role. It looks like the changes are complete. The deploy is successful. So I can actually browse that deploy here, you click on this button. And now I can see my changes are deployed to this deploy preview. One more thing to note, on the pull request, the CI notification actually changed from yellow to green and now says deploy is ready. Where I could also see the deploy preview live as well. And this CI notification actually happened here in the notifications tab. Once you've integrated a site with Git, these notifications get set up automatically. And if you want to add some other special notifications, for example, if you want an actual message on the pull request every time something changed um, for a visual representation, you could actually change that as well here. So the last thing I wanted to point out is that deploy previews from pull requests deployed on Netlify append the word deploy preview to the front of the URL, followed by the pull request number. And remember, once changes are merged on the master, they get deployed live to Netlify. And there you have it, changes deployed live with Netlify.